Okay, guys, it is Saturday once again. Now, last week, I did not tell you guys what we were going to watch this week because I hadn't decided yet, but everybody kept saying you should watch an Easter movie. So we are going to watch an Easter movie tonight. And that movie is going to be Hop. Now, here's the funny thing about this. As you can see, I have it on the TV screen back here behind me. I don't actually have it on DVD. So I just printed out the thing and I stuck it in the Blu-ray case to make it look like I had the movie. <laughs> However, it is available right now to watch on Peacock. I think Peacock is like five or six dollars a month, something like that. I was lucky enough that I have it, so it's right here, available, and waiting for me to watch tonight. Now, another thing you guys may notice is something that I was talking about last week, and that is this wall over here, where we used to have the giant Titanic poster. Last week, I showed you all the new posters that I bought and put in frames to put up on this wall, and I finally have them up. I've put a lot of time into this room over the past week. I finished making the rest of these little things, these little cases here that go behind the Blu-rays. I finished putting all the Blu-rays on the shelf. You can see they're down here. I finally finished that shelf over there. And I moved some of the videos around, like I did get all three of the Wimpy Kid movies. So I put those up there. I got Pixels, a whole bunch of them I actually moved around. And that's one thing that I love about being down here. If I want it to look different, all I have to do is move around some of the videos that I have on the shelves. And it's just like new wallpaper. I believe I already showed you these little things that I put up on these lights so that we could redirect the light onto like the videos on the shelves instead of shining straight down on my face like that one right there. But I had some trouble with these. I've had trouble keeping them up there. I had them taped in there with duct tape and they kept falling down. I tried to put screws in and it didn't work and finally I figured out a way that I could tape it up inside the ceiling and keep it in place. So with those now in place, that light is redirected and it looks much better in here. So on to this wall over here and the new posters that I put up, guys. Check this out. This wall looks so much better than it did when I had that gigantic Titanic poster up and the two other frames that were just random stuff. So look at this. We have Commando. We have Young Guns. We have Alien. I love this poster right here. Look how cool that is. Not only that, but it looks like she's looking up at the moon over here of E.T. flying through the moony. Then we have Back to the Future, Romancing the Stone, and Rocky IV. I also rearranged the VHS tapes so that we have some up here and then some up on this side as well. In the whole middle here, I raised the video time sign and I put all the rest of my Blu-rays up there, as well as a couple of VHS tapes on each side of the sign to fill up those spaces. And I think that looks 100% better. What do you think, sir? After all, you have to stare at them all day long. I also put some other Blu-rays down here with these nifty little clear bookends so you can see the Blu-ray through the end. That looks so cool. And and I was counting, guys, and as of right now, we have over 300 Blu-rays in this room. And the collection continues to grow. So guys, without further ado, let's get upstairs and make our snack for this Saturday night snack and a movie. Who's ready to cook? Okay guys, so let's go on up here into the kitchen and I will show you what we're gonna make today. Now we needed to make something that was an Easter snack if we're gonna watch an Easter movie on Easter pre-night. Tomorrow's actually Easter, today's Saturday, so it's pre-Easter. Now I thought about coloring eggs, but honestly, who wants to eat hard-boiled eggs for a snack during a movie? 
Not me. <laughs> but I figured you have to have colored eggs for Easter. So what kind of a colored egg snack could we make? Well, how about colored Easter egg rainbow crispy Rice Krispie Treats. Now these are made just like regular Rice Krispie Treats, only we're gonna use Rainbow Krispies. And if you can't find these at your Walmart or at your local grocery store, you could always use Fruity Pebbles. So we have a box of those because I believe we need six cups. We also have a 10 ounce pack of Jet Puffed Mini Marshmallows, a stick of butter, and we have some of these eggs. These were the nice sized ones that I could find, even though they're shaped sort of like a carrot. We want to use these to shape our Rice Krispie treats into eggs. Okay, so I think I have everything prepared here. Um, what we're going to do is only make a half a batch because it calls for like the entire bag of mini marshmallows and six cups of the Rainbow Krispies. Now you can find this recipe on the side of the box or you can find it online very easily. Just Google it or you can just watch me make it right here. So I've already pre-measured everything. We have three cups of the Rainbow Krispies. We have th uh, about three cups of the mini marshmallows. We have about one and a half tablespoons of the butter. I got some avocado oil spray out here. Doesn't have to be avocado, just as long as it's spray. Because the first thing that we wanna do is spray this bowl right here. Now we're gonna do the microwave method here. Um, the box gives the recipe as you make it on the stove top, but I just kinda feel like that would be a little bit too messy, plus it's gonna be hot, it's already hot in here. So I'm gonna use a glass bowl that's good for the microwave. We're gonna spray it. Plenty of oil on there so that this stuff doesn't stick because this is marshmallows we are melting in this bowl. And the next thing we want to make sure we spray is the inside of all our little eggs here. Now I only bought three of the eggs that are shaped like uh, carrots here. So I decided to dig in to my stash and reuse the eggs that we used when we made our Jimmy Neutron Egg Aliens. You remember that? These had arms on them, and then we used the peeps to make the aliens. Anyways, so I have three of those. We're just going to reuse those, because I think we're going to need at least six egg shapes to, uh, to put all this stuff in. So let's go ahead and put these together, and then we'll spray a little coat of oil inside these so that the Rice Krispie Treats will actually come out easy once they're done. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna have oil everywhere. Well, that was easier said than done. Okay, so let's start out by putting our marshmallows in this bowl that we're gonna put in the microwave. We're gonna put our butter right in there with the marshmallows. And I just cut it up into smaller pieces so that it would melt easier. And I'm just gonna put that in the microwave on 30 second increments until it looks like it's melted enough to start mixing up. Yikes, okay, <laughs> so that was about a minute total, and you can see how these are completely melted once we start stirring them together. Once we start stirring them together, if I could talk. I get worried when I make stuff like this because you kind of have to work against the clock. You don't want to make a giant mess. So, okay, we're getting this mixed together good here. Everything's melted. Now, if you also don't have the Rainbow Krispies, you can use regular Rice Krispies. And at this point in the process, you would just add a little bit of uh, food coloring. So you could really make whatever colors you want. Okay, so we got that. Let's go ahead and pour in our Krispies. Oh, please work. <laughs> oh my gosh. You really want a deeper bowl for this, but this is all I had that could go in the microwave. Surprised I'm not spilling these all over the place. It's coming together good. Gotta make sure you get it mixed up really good here. And it's gotta be able to stick together in the shape of eggs. Now, here's the really tricky part. We gotta transfer this into our egg shapes here. So, it's gonna be sticky all over my hands. Let's go ahead and use some of this spray on my hands and see if that keeps it from sticking. 
Ugh, I do not like stuff like this on my hands. All right, here we go. Okay, stick some in there. Well, it's not keeping it from sticking. <laughs> it is all over. Look at this crap. Oh, man. This is not even right. Okay. Put some in the bottom and the top. Now we gotta kinda mash it in there. Okay, and then we'll put this together. Let's hope this works. Okay, there's one. Set that aside and let's keep on moving. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Bet you anything, half of you are going, yeah, if you'd have done it this other way, you wouldn't have that mess. <laughs> oh crap, look at this, all over my hands. I don't even love it. Keep on stuffing our eggs here. These better be super delicious. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Don't even love you, egg. <clears throat> all right, there's number two. I am so glad I sprayed the inside of these. There's number three. Everything is so like slippery and greasy and oily and sticky at the same time. The longer this stuff sits, like the stickier it gets. All right, one more. It's all over. <laughs> it would have been much easier to just boil and color eggs. But no. Who wants to eat boiled eggs? <laughs> Look at this. All right, I guess it's not too bad. Except for everything I touch, it's getting stuck too. Okay, that cleanup wasn't too bad. I just had to wash my hands with hot water and soap, and it pretty much came right off. But yuck, that was gross. I hate having stuff on my hands, and it was so sticky and slimy at the same time. Anyway, so at the moment, this is what we're looking at, guys. We have six egg containers right here filled with our little mixture of the Rice Krispie Treats and the Rainbow Krispies. And we need to put these in the fridge for a little bit. I believe it said for about an hour. So let's go ahead and get those in the fridge right now. That way they can sit in there and get kind of cold and they can set up so that when we take them out of the fridge, they will still be shaped like an egg. Okay, it's been about an hour, so let's go ahead and get our eggs out of the refrigerator here. These things just look too funny, man. So, they look like they're kind of moist on the inside, but let's go ahead and break them open and see. Ooh, yeah, since I sprayed, that came out really easy. There we go. We have a colored Easter egg Rice Krispie Treat right there, guys. That's funny. Look at what that looks like inside the bottom of the egg there. And it comes right out in the shape of an egg. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love these so much. Look, you can even stand them straight up. That is too funny. All right, let's get another one open here. Comes right out and it's shaped like an egg. Wow. Those turned out so much better than I expected. Okay, let's go ahead and give one of these a taste. Now they are definitely sticky. I don't know if there's any way that you could make them not sticky, except for maybe if they stayed in the fridge longer, like overnight or something, or sat out for a little while, I don't know. But they're definitely sticky. Um, they're pretty solid though. Let's see if we can even take a bite of this thing. Mmm, mm-hmm. That is delicious. It's super delicious, but I'll tell you what. If you remember, recently I just had teeth pulled. Two on this side, then I had one over here a long time ago. But there's a spot where there's like no tooth, so there's just gum. So these will tear up my gums in a split second. So make sure you got a good mouthful of teeth before you try to eat these. All right, guys, well, there we go. I even got a little Easter basket to put them in. Look how funny that looks. <laughs> so we got our movie hop. We have our rainbow crispy Easter egg rice crispy treats. Now, I put them in here with grass. You'd have to pick all the grass off before you could actually eat them. 
but the one that I tasted was absolutely delicious. All right, guys, I'm going to head downstairs with my treats, take the grass off of them before I eat them, and I'm going to watch my movie for the night. Hop, happy Easter to everyone. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and come back every Saturday for more Saturday Night Snack in a Movie.